morning everybody welcome back to my channel i'm about to just get ready so i thought i would get ready with you guys i'm going to an event with Ilya this morning it's actually their first canadian event which is really cool and i'm very honored to be invited it's like a pottery making class which i've never made pottery before and i'm just super excited for the whole morning i feel like it's gonna be really good i'm not wearing foundation because my skin has been super dry recently. Just my acne products that I'm using has really dried out my skin. So foundation just doesn't look good. Concealer is the way to go. And even concealer sometimes can like get a little cakey. Be very light. I don't care if my skin looks perfect. My natural skin with imperfections is totally fine. Just using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is like my favorite concealer ever. It covers up everything so well and it just looks really good and natural on the skin i'm also gonna apply some underneath my eyes i'm very excited for today like so excited i've never made any pottery in my life i'm so curious what we're gonna make a mug that would be cool but i feel like that's not for beginners i feel like beginners don't make mugs i don't know if we're even gonna get to take it home i have no idea what's gonna happen i'm wearing a skirt I don't know if wearing a skirt is practical for making pottery, but it's a long skirt, so I feel like it'll be fine. I also thought about wearing my like carpenter painter pants. I'm like, this will give me like a big, like I'm an artist vibe, you know? I'm now just using the Rose Ink Blush in Heliotrope, and I use like a flat top kind of brush. And I'm just gonna apply some onto my cheeks. That was a lot, but it's okay. <laughs> and I kind of take it like up into my temples too. This is just like the prettiest pink flush blush. I love it and it just blends seamlessly into your skin like it looks so natural just take a little bit across my nose too even though my nose is already red <laughs> and then for bronzer i'm using the jouet the little sculpt and highlight set and i don't apply this directly on my face i always find that way too harsh i just take this brush that i have from complex culture and i just take some onto the brush and apply it that way i just find it way more natural and i've been enjoying it and then applying some underneath my jaw. We are having the worst air quality here because there's fires up in Quebec. If you don't know Canadian geography, that's like another province beside Ontario. And there's been a bunch of wildfires out there and then some southbound wind had came in and blown it south. Apparently it's terrible in Ottawa. Like they have the highest rating possible right now for like bad air quality which is terrible i feel so bad for anybody who's living out in ottawa right now we don't have it too bad here in toronto but it still is very hazy and you kind of can like smell smoke on the air i'm taking the Ilia setting powder love this powder so much i am gonna like layer powder products over top of my cream because i feel like it just makes it last so i'm gonna take this nars bronzer in Laguna and this big old brush and I'm just gonna lightly I very lightly because this gets heavy very easily just bronze nice and bronzed and then I'm gonna apply a little bit more blush I've been loving this lawless blush talc free in watermelon it's like this bright fuchsia the prettiest pink blush color cute I don't know if I'm gonna change I might change it's a struggle of my entire existence. Also, I don't know what to do with my hair. Guys, should I cut it? Or could leave it really long? Like, I'm kind of tempted. Like, this is a kind of a cute length. Like here. I'm gonna fill in my eyebrows quick. Nice and quick. Okay, eyebrows are filled in. I'm gonna take some of this Laguna bronzer just through my crease to match the bronzer that I'm already wearing, just so everything's kind of uniform and i'm gonna apply some of it underneath my lower lash line and i'm gonna take this little kaja trio i'm gonna take the lightest shade in my inner corners and the darkest shade on my lash line now i'm just gonna apply some mascara i'm using the tower 28 mascara oh also i'm really excited because for the illy event today it's for a launch of a new brow product which I can't wait to try. I love, 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 love eyebrow products. Last steps, lip liner. This is the Makeup Forever Artist Pencil in Anywhere Caffeine. And then for my lipstick, I'm going to use the Chanel Lipstick Rouge Coco Flash in the shade Easy. 
It's like one of my all time favorite lipsticks. Don't know what to do with my hair still, but, or my outfit, I might change. I'm panicking a bit, I'm panicking. Okay, I changed my outfit. I just felt like I really wanted to wear this top and I don't know, the other of it, I just wasn't vibing with it. It just wasn't giving me the feeling I wanted to feel. <laughs> so I changed. I'm just wearing this top from Maurizio, which I love. I just feel like this top is so pretty and I love the color of it. And I feel like it goes well with my makeup and my hair being back. I just feel like it all goes. I feel like I needed a top with a little bit more going on than the other one. So I really like this. I'm wearing this. I'm just wearing my favorite jeans, Levi's ribcage jeans they're my favorite in this wash they're so cute they fit so well and they're so comfortable and then i'm just wearing these sandals that are kind of like old but they're from zara and then i just have my pauline paris bag that matches my sandals and that's my look i'm not wearing any rings because pottery rings bad mix i still got my fitbit on which i'm really annoyed because it did not track my sleep last night even though i was wearing it and i'm like if you're already broken, I'm going to be pissed. So we'll see if it tracks it tonight because I'm going to be like, what the hell if it doesn't? What the hell? This is my outfit and I'll see you when I get there. I'm just going to vlog probably on my phone because I mean, I might bring a camera. I don't know. I'm not going to bring this one. I'm still waiting for my new vlogging camera, my, my mini camera to come because it'll be purse friendly. This one's not purse friendly. Hair is back because we're gonna go do our afternoon run soon. I'm just gonna run on the treadmill though. Really, can you just lay down? Lay down right here. The air quality is terrible. I can literally taste, taste the air. Taste the smoky air, okay? Disgusting. We're gonna be running on the treadmill, which is really boring, but what can you do? As I told you guys, I ordered, because Saritzi is having their summer sale right now, some workout shirts because I didn't feel like buying ones from the lemon and these were on sale. So I was like, I'm gonna stock up on some workout shirts. <laughs> these are the socks that I got. They're bright yellow, but I thought it was fun. <laughs> They're super cute. I got two tank tops that are like built-in bra tops. So I got this black one. It's kind of like a cropped mini life tank, it's called an extra small. I got the TNA life fabric because it's a little bit thicker and more sweat wicking. So I got that in white, and then I got the bound tank in white as well. So I got a t-shirt, I got a white t-shirt, and then I also got this pretty fun pink t-shirt. And then last up, I just got a sports tank. This is covered in dog hair already, so these not dog hair friendly, but it's just like a white full length tank top. This will be good for like doing races and stuff, because a lot of times you need like a tank to secure your thing to number. So that'll be good for that. I'm gonna wear one actually now <laughs> because when I go for my run, I don't feel like just wearing a sports bra. So I'm gonna put one of these, I think I'm gonna do a t-shirt. We're gonna go for the pink t-shirt, pink and navy. And I'll go with my new shoes, which I'll also show you guys in a second because my sneakers that I ordered finally came in. It was so funny. They sent the like shipping notice and right when the shipping notice sent, they delivered that same day. So I'm like, I don't think that they just just shipped. Anyways, they were delivered, so that's all that matters. Nope. Oh, stuck on my bobby pins. I also have makeup on right now, which is not ideal for running, but what can you do? This is cute! This fits perfect. I just have my lemon shorts on and a little t-shirt. See, this is great. Very happy with all of these. I needed them, so good purchases and I always need more running socks because I feel like I'm burning through socks now because like I wear them to run in and then I'm like, they're dirty. Let me show you guys my sneakers. One sec. These are them. They finally came. Brooks Adrenaline. I got a six and a half. Oh my God. She's scared of the shoes. Brooks Adrenaline sneakers, six and a half. They have basically like this technology in the heel that helps prevent pronating, over pronating or pronate out. I forget what that one's called 
But yeah, these are them. I'm going to try them out for my run today and see how they go. I'm excited. I'm hoping they're going to be really good and comfy for my ankles. Though I didn't get a sore ankle on my last run, which I was really happy about because I was a little bit concerned. I was like, I don't want to get sore ankles. But yeah, these are my sneakers. Super cute. They feel so comfy on. They're like a perfect fit. I'm really happy because I ordered online. I mean, I'm pretty good with my sizing. I have a true six and a half and these are stunning. They feel so light. Like I love how light running shoes are, okay? They feel like you have nothing on your feet. The comfiest things ever. 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 Okay. I don't think that I updated you guys, but I did my run on the treadmill. So boring. So, so boring. I didn't even know what like pace I was doing because the treadmills are all in miles and it's really confusing. It's like miles per hour on there. <laughs> and I'm like, huh? And then um, because I was running on the treadmill, I had to put my like Fitbit on treadmill instead of like run because I knew it wouldn't record it properly. Cause I'm not running outside. I'm really running in one place. So it can't track my pace because it doesn't know how far I'm going. So I was like, I don't even know what's going on. I'm just gonna run it. I wanted to keep my heart rate low. So I think it said I did like a 630 kilometer pace. So pretty slow, but that was good because if I kept my heart rate nice and nice and low for me because my heart rate is like not good. I'm not very good at cardio. So I've been trying to keep my heart rate just not in the peak area. Like I'm trying to keep it just in like low cardio and I managed to do that. My shoes are really comfy, liked them. I don't enjoy running on a treadmill now that I've started running outside, but the air quality is so bad guys. It's not like it said like high risk the last time that I checked. Great. Um, love when the weather is trying to poison us. Not the weather, but the fires. Disgusting. Okay. You could smell it and I could like, I was like, that doesn't, the air tastes funny. You know, normally you don't taste the air. I could taste the air. It's a bad sign. <laughs> Loved this shirt though for running. It was super nice. Sweat wicking. Walking hand in hand on the ocean floor. Down deep we wonder. Louder we sing, no, there is no cure in this together. I don't want to tell you that it's not, that it's not real. Nothing is a fairy tale. Everything about you is so one, is so one. Really won't be pretty when it ends. Now, how could I leave with your sweet love on me? Yeah, yeah. Something about you always makes it harder. When you got my lipstick on, you watch your color. everybody it is the next day hello this video is actually gonna go live on friday normally i upload it on tuesdays and thursdays but we're up on friday today i just made my breakfast as you guys would have seen i did f45 this morning and it was difficult because i did legs it was straight legs not full body it's just straight legs <laughs> and it burned but yeah i have three events technically there's four but i don't think i'm going to the one late tonight just not feeling it. One of them is a pop-in event. It's from nine to 11, it's nine right now. So I need to eat, get ready and go. And hopefully I'll be able to catch just like the end of it. My hair is just not looking good, but I don't feel like washing it. So it's just up here, you know? It starts to look, it's not greasy, but it's just not looking as fresh. The freshness has passed. Guys, I managed to get ready in time. I'm gonna head to the Uncle Studios pop-up right now. I'll probably be there for like 20 minutes and then head back home, but I said I would go, so I'm gonna make my appearance and look around. I actually wanna kinda see if I can find anything cute to wear to the Dermot Kennedy concert on Saturday. Anyways, this is my outfit for today <laughs> for my afternoon events. I just want something comfy and cash. So tank top is from Maritzia. This is from Maritzia. Jeans are Levi dad jeans. Then I'm just wearing my Birkenstocks and this Pauline Paris bag. And that is my super casual, literally could not be more casual. But yeah, I'll see you guys when we get there. Apparently they're gonna have coffee and treats. So I'm excited. I would love another coffee right now. Love one.
back from the Uncle Studios pop-up. It was super cute. They had some cute pieces, but I didn't get anything, but definitely go check it out. I think it's this weekend. It's gonna be open. It's at 300 King Street East in Toronto, if you live in Toronto. But I don't think I told you guys yet that I finished Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. Well, let me get it. Finished this. Last night I power I read for two hours last night because um, I couldn't stop and I finished it Holy crap. This is officially my favorite book that I've read so far this year and I'm willing to bet that nothing is gonna top it This is my favorite book. I might even like this more than a court and thorns and roses. I don't know We'll see how the series goes, but so far it gave me a court of mist and fury feelings, okay I loved these characters, loved them. Zayden, I think that's how you pronounce it. It's like X-A-D-E-N, I think that's pronounced Zayden. Um, love that character, love. Love, 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 Violet, love her. I love that she's a strong, tough character, but she's vulnerable. And I feel like a lot of the time they don't have that with a character like you'll have a character that's super tough but they're always like not vulnerable it's like they have like a wall up but with her it's like she's so strong and tough and yet she's also very vulnerable and open with her feelings and i like am eating that up as a main protagonist lead i'm like this is the kind of strong female that we need like not only is she strong and tough but she also is emotional and feels her feelings and shares her feelings she doesn't hold them in love that for her so good the ending shocked shocked apparently the next book comes out in november y'all already know i will be pre-ordering that the minute it's available for pre-order and i will be eating up every word of it because holy crap this is probably my new favorite series i uh, dragons also dragons just get me okay me and dragons yes please okay loved it love 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 loved it so much it was so good anyways um i'm gonna move on to this book now i feel like i, I don't even want to read something else like i am still i have like a hangover from this book and i just feel like i want to almost reread it again but then i'm like that's too much i need to like <laughs> wait i probably will reread this book i'm not gonna lie in a couple months because I love rereading a book knowing the ending because I feel like you see so many Easter eggs that you didn't see before reading it again, like so many little hints about who characters are, etc, etc. So I'm going to definitely reread this in a couple months, probably in the fall, I'll reread it again right before the second book comes out. But I'm going to move on to this because I feel like I need a little break from fantasy or romance. I'm just going to go into like kind of like a... I don't even know if this would be considered a thriller. I feel like it's kind of like a mystery just fiction novel so this one's called homecoming and i've explained it before previously if you watched my old videos but basically it's about a girl who's from australia but she moved to england she comes back to australia because her nan is ill and she kind of realizes that her family has this connection to a murder that happened years ago and that's all i know so far from those synopsis i feel like it'll be pretty good and yeah i mean it's not gonna live up to this i just know so it's just like, you know, when you read a great book, it's like the other book, you know, you're always just gonna be a rebound. <laughs> you're never gonna be the one, honey. This book will always be in the back of my mind. You need to read this. So freaking good. So good. time just getting ready let me be honest i don't know a single thing that i haven't done to make you notice me let me be real here when i see you my heart starts racing but i don't know if i like this chasing and playing and waiting around it's a shame that my hands start shaking all of to him. 
heart's racing But I don't know if I like this chasing And playing and waiting around It's a shame that my hands start shaking I just got back from the Design Me event and it was so good. Look at my hair. So she curled this side and I curled this side. I actually think they look quite similar. Hers does look better, but not too bad. And she taught me how to curl it with a clamp iron, which has always been something I've wanted to be able to do because I feel like these are my favorite like style of curls and I can't get this with a wand. And yeah, she did an amazing job. Anyway, she also did this little like half French braid situation, which I love. It looks so pretty. They gifted me a ton of products. So I thought I would show you guys what I got in here because it's insane. So I have their Puff Me Dry Texture Spray, which she basically sprayed throughout all of my hair. I also have their Quickie Me Dry Shampoo Spray, which looks like this, which I needed a new dry shampoo so badly. So that was lovely i also have the design me gloss me shampoo and conditioner which are backups for the ones i already have then we have the design me volumizing mousse which i haven't really tried much mousses in my life so that's cool also she said this would be really good for my hair when i have it natural so it's basically like a curl enhancer mist so she said like the next day when it's like second day waves, you can just spray this throughout your hair and like re-scrunch it and get your waves back, which I was like, this would be perfect for me. And then I got some clips, which I always love and need in my life. So I got a dark brown one just to like match my hair. And then this like kind of more caramelly brown one for half back looks. And what else is in here? I got a bunch of clips for sectioning your hair, which is actually great because I didn't have any of these. And these are really great when you're like curling and styling your hair. You need those in your life. And another brush. And that's everything. They also got me a nice um, Milky's cappuccino, which I'm thoroughly enjoying. It tastes delicious which is my third coffee of the day, which is way too many coffees. I'm actually gonna stop drinking that. I will not sleep tonight. And according to my Fitbit, I already had a shit sleep. So we don't need that in our life, but I appreciated it and I drank three fourths of it. Anyways, I'm so happy because my hair is done now for my event tonight. Like I don't have to do my own hair. Love that. I'm gonna roll up looking nice and fresh and styled. I probably should put um, foundation on. I haven't been wearing foundation recently and like I can tell in pictures that I don't have it on. And I'm like, uh, I should be wearing that because I would look nice and flawless. But I've just been kind of rocking the imperfection skin and I see it in the photos and I'm like, hmm. Anyways, thank you to Design Me for having me. That was so much fun. All these stock ups is amazing. I am in heaven and yeah. I'm very excited for my event later. I'll show you guys when I have my outfit on for my dinner event. Okay, here is my dinner outfit. I'm uh, re-wearing this dress. I wore it almost six months ago to an event and I'm wearing it again. I love it. It's so pretty. It's from Revolve and I just feel like it's such a good dress for like little events and stuff like this. I didn't want to wear too high heels because I wanted to be comfortable. So I'm just wearing these like little heeled sandals to kind of dress it down a little bit, but still be bit dressier i can carry my coach bag and yeah that's my look for the event i just redid my makeup i put some foundation on so i would look a little bit more put together i have the let me show you guys i just used the hourglass foundation it's my favorite for events i just mixed two shades together to get my in-between shade that i am right now i'm wearing a lot of blush which I like because I feel like it pulls from the pink in this dress. And then my lipstick is the Chanel Rouge Coco Flash Shine or whatever in Jour. Jour. Day. Yeah, that is the look in my dress. My hair is still done from earlier. I feel like it looks so good. I'm so glad I had that like just lined up to have my hair looking fresh. I'm excited. I'll see y'all when I get there.